Hey everyone, it's Brittany. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be going over all of the makeup that I've recently picked up from Sephora. I have some new items and some tried and true favorites I want to share with you guys. Every item that I'm talking about in today's video will be linked below in the description box. So feel free to click on those links and shop directly. They are affiliate links, just letting you know. If you do shop them, I greatly appreciate it. If you choose not to, no worries, just enjoy the video. If you have not subscribed, go right ahead and subscribe now. I do videos about fashion, beauty, and anything girly and glamorous. So stick around if you're into that content. Feel free to follow me on Instagram. My name is blush underscore Brittany. And yeah, let's get into the video. Okay, the first thing, I have everything right to the side here. First thing I have to talk about is this lip, you guys. I'm obsessed. This is the Lawless Forget the Filler um, Plumping Lip Gloss. So on the back it says plumping, smoothing, and nourishing. Now, Lawless Cosmetic is a clean beauty brand. They're vegan, but I love the brand just because the pigment is so amazing. I have a couple of their blushes, their eyeshadow palette. Everything is there as far as like performance. For a clean beauty brand, we're seeing that with this. So I was shocked for that. But what I love is how smooth this makes your lips. Like it fills in all the little lines in your lips and just makes your lips look so plump and hydrated. Um, the color that I picked up is Daisy Pink. This originally came out, came out I think in like a clear color and then she launched a few other shades. I picked up this hot pink because it looks really bright, but on the lips, it's super sheer. So it's not really intense pink how it looks. And all I have on is a lip liner just on the outer edges. And then I slightly filled it in a little bit and then put the lip gloss on top. This is really nice. It doesn't feel extremely sticky. It is a little sticky, but I like that because it helps me know that the color is still there. And yeah, a little bit of a cooling feeling. I really enjoy it. Now the lip liner that I have paired with this is one of my all time favorites. This is the Laura Mercier Plumberry. I'll go ahead and swatch this so you guys can see the color. So that's that, love this. I've repurchased this color, I don't know, maybe four or five times. It's, it's just one of my favorite shades. Um, going into the next shade that I love is the Makeup Forever 3C Lip Liner. And this is part of their Aqua um, Lip Liners, which, cool little backstory, this was made for, I believe it was like a Russian aquatic ballet team, or they use their Aqua products in their performances. So this lasts in water. So really cute little cool side story but this is the color at the bottom here 3c this is just a really great neutral color and then i did a video about the huda beauty lip liners i think it was like my last sephora video that i did i talked about how i love those shades that i picked up so i ended up getting sandy beige and this one here is a little bit of like a deeper nude color so you can see the three shades of lip liners that I picked up. If you like nudes, neutrals, these are colors that you definitely need to add to your makeup collection. Now I'm gonna get into eyebrows. I had to pick up another of this Huda Beauty Micro Pencil and I get the shade Medium Brown. I love how teeny tiny this little pencil is. It really just gets in there and makes those little hair-like strokes. You can just define your brows with this. I absolutely love this. And I like that it is a little bit drier. I feel that you're able to have more control when you're really trying to make those little, you know, hair-like imitations. And it, of course, comes with a little brush on the end to help blend it out. And for the longest, I had the pencil, and then I would just go right in with like a clear brow gel from Anastasia. But I went ahead and picked up her powder, her brow powder in the shade medium brown. And this is what it looks like. This has been around forever. I 
just don't know why I never picked it up. I personally got it because I like to use the lighter shade in the front of my brow just to fill it in softly. And then the darker color sort of on the tail end really helps to get that definition and fullness without looking like too solid of a, of a brow. So I love to pair the pencil with the powder and then just set it all with the gel. If you guys want a brow video, let me know. I love all things brow, but I have a particular method that I like to do for my personal brows. And I'd love to share that with you guys. I actually picked up quite a few Huda Beauty products. So the next thing I'm gonna talk about is her bronzer. I picked up mine in the shade medium. And this is the Soft Radiant um, Bronzing Powder. So the packaging is really kind of cool. Like it's a square backdrop, but then the circle and two-tone colors. It's pretty interesting. I like that it is like a marbleized bronzer. This reminds me of the Hourglass bronzers and how it has like the marble tone. So no bronzer is gonna be the exact same. But Soft Radiance is exactly what this is. I have this on today. I've been using this ever since I picked up these items almost a week ago now, and I love it. This is the only bronzer I have on my face today, um, just because I really wanted to feature it and show you guys. I believe there's like five or six colors you can choose from, but this is just, it's just gorgeous, and it's extremely soft, so it's not gonna look super harsh or like really, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Like patchy. It blends out really effortlessly. And looking at it, I originally thought like this is gonna be too light for me. And I just swatched it and you can't really see on my hand the color, but I do have it on my face. I don't have to build up too much. When I put my brush in there and apply it, you can definitely see the color. So, I would stick with, because I was debating between doing the, the medium or doing the tan, and I'm so glad that I did the medium because I feel the tan would have been a little too dark for me. Um, so I would just stick with whatever shade you think is gonna look the most natural on you. I had to re-pick up this cupcake baking powder from Huda Beauty. I love this because the color has a tinge of pink. And one thing that I learned from a makeup artist is not doing too much yellow underneath the eyes because for me, I'm more neutral. I wanna lean a little bit more yellow on my undertone, but I'm, I'm not really, I'm more of a neutral. So if I do the yellow, it's under my eyes, it's not gonna blend in really well with the rest of my body. So doing the pinky tone really does brighten, um, but it doesn't like, add a disconnect with the color of my face with the color of my body. So obviously each person is different. So if you tend to have more of a yellow, strong undertone, stick with the yellow, it's gonna look great on you. But for people who are more neutral to pinky, I would try out this powder. And there's tons of colors. I think they actually have a color called banana for those of you that wanna do the like yellow tone. So that's one of the reasons why I love this powder is the tone of it but it is just a beautiful softening powder to the skin. Like I love to use it to bake around my under eyes. Um, I'll use it in the center of my face and it really just keeps my makeup on all day while also brightening. So I highly recommend this powder. We're gonna talk Lancome, the Tint Idol Ultra Wear All Over Concealer. They just launched this and I picked up mine in the shade 215. I have it now underneath my eyes. I do do a little bit down the center of my nose too. This stuff is phenomenal. Like I wore, I live in Las Vegas. It is very hot here. It's a hundred plus degrees every single day in the summertime. And I wore this for the first time. I tried it out. I think it was like a Monday or Tuesday. And I had to go into the office and, you know, work and be out in the heat and I remember getting home at night and looking in my, at my under eyes and typically the concealer that I normally wear, I don't have any issues with it. Like it stays on the Dior, um, Dior Forever concealer. I usually use that one. 
This one, I felt I used less of the product and I got more coverage and it looked so natural. I was actually very shocked. This is the applicator. You can see it's just a nice dome shape. And what I like about it is it does, the way that it's shaped, it picks up just the right amount of product. And I'm the type I like to build it up. So I was dipping back and forth and then I realized like, I don't really need that much with this because it does give you such high coverage. And just like the foundation from Lancome, it stays on all day. And I highly recommend if you need a new concealer and you want one that's gonna look fresh all day, it won't settle into fine lines or creases. This one is really good. Now a new setting spray that's on the market is this Professional. And I picked this up because I, I had my makeup done a few months ago for a trial. You know, I'm getting married this spring, this coming spring, and I've been trying out different makeup artists. And I remember her saying how she loved this because it does kind of mattify the skin in areas where you set. But then it also like smooths out your pores. So I was like, ooh, I wanna get that. So I picked this up. What I like about it is the mist. It's a really fine mist, if you could see that. So it doesn't like come at you all crazy and you don't have like dots of setting spray on your face. This is a really beautiful even mist. I don't know so much um, about like the pore setting aspect of it. Like I feel like my pores still look the same. Um, but yeah, it does say on the back that it softens the look of pores. Feels weightless, I agree with that. Helps lock on the makeup. My makeup stays on all day. So this is a really nice one. And Sephora does have a, uh, a dual pack of this. I'd be, I believe it's like two full sizes for like $42. Whereas the, just for one of them is like 32. So you get the second one, $10. It's a really good deal if you do need setting sprays. I just picked up the one because I do have a, a lot of setting sprays to rotate with and I love to try new makeup. So I just picked up the one, but you do have the option to do the duo pack and you save a lot of money if you're gonna end up you know, using it in the long run anyways. Of course, these are a must necessary item. I liked this kit just cause they were like pastel colors, but I use this like around my lip area, around my brows to kind of clean up. Um, yeah, and I like to keep one of these in my drawer by my sink, one of these in my vanity, one in my travel bag. So, and they get kind of, you know, gunky every now and again. So it's time to refresh every few months. And I just love the colors. Now, Pat McGrath, her blushes she came out with. I love the packaging. It's so gorgeous. I love the flowers. There's like little diamonds and then the gold details on the edges. It opens up like this. And the packaging is very substantial. You know, Pat McGrath, her makeup products, she doesn't cut corners when it comes to launching her products. And every single detail of her brand is very thought out. So I love that. I picked up two shades. And I'm actually gonna be returning one. So I have Divine Rose and then Flirtatious. This is Flirtatious. It's a really soft, light pink. For me, this would be a everyday blush. I would just throw on and it would go with anything and not look like too much color. I have it on today. I did layer a little bit of another blush on top just to add a little more pop because I am in front of you know these lights. So. That's that. I love this color though. This is very pretty. If you have similar skin tone to me or even lighter, I feel that you would really like this for every day. And then the other color is Divine Rose. Yeah, Divine Rose. This one was just a little too red on my skin. Like if I do pinks, I want it to be like a really pretty, like, like soft pink or a pink that doesn't have too much red. And this, I didn't really like how it looked on me, so I'm gonna go ahead and send this one back. I might pick up one of the peach shades 
If you guys have a color that you really like from the line, definitely leave it in the comments and let me know um, so I can check it out too. Now, skincare. So I'm going to start out, you guys, Youth to the People. This has been one of my favorite brands for many years. Um, this is their Super Berry Hydrate and Glow Dream Oil. This has, I believe it's Maki and then Acai Prickly Pear and Goji. So this is a brightening, hydrating, nourishing oil that I love to use at night as like my nighttime moisturizer. So the brand is 100% vegan, no animal testing, made in California in cold pressed extraction. So all of the ingredients are going to be held to the same um, standard as far as like the nutrients that come from their ingredients because of the cold press, the heat doesn't disturb that since they don't do heat in their processing. Um, let's see what else. It's a fast absorbing oil, hydrates, leaves the skin velvety soft with a healthy looking glow, which I can attest to that. Um, squalene, jojoba, sunflower oil, um, antioxidants are rich in this with the super berry blend illuminate and it revives dehydrated skin in a flash i highly agree with everything that they said about this i like to just do like two to three drops and i put in the palm of my hands and just press it into my skin when i wake up in the morning my skin is super hydrated and plump and it i just feel refreshed so I love this and I would say too, even if you are oily, you could totally use that. Um, I'm more normal to combination skin type. I tend to be oily in the T-zone and I can be drier on my forehead, but it works super easy for me and super effective and I love it. I've been using it, like I said, forever and I just had to pick up a new bottle. Okay, in my last Sephora haul, I picked up this moisturizer. It's from the brand Freck, and I love this. It's a cactus vitamin C moisturizer. First of all, the packaging is really cute, simple. I like that you can really squeeze down to the last drop of the product, um, but let me read to you what it says on the back. So it's a light yet rich ultra moisturizer for your dreams or of your dreams. I can't read. So this brand is a cruelty-free and vegan company that does not test on animals. Um, all the products are free of a lot of ingredients, phthalates, parabens, gluten, alcohol. Um, so that is really nice. I feel a lot of companies are moving towards clean ingredients and the vegan lifestyle, which I can appreciate. But I just love the way that this feels on my skin. It's really hydrating. My makeup lays beautifully on top of this. So I use this as my morning moisturizer. And then I use the Youth to the People as my nighttime moisturizer. And I will continue to repurchase these. The last thing I wanted to just bring up really quick is this Cab Cosmetics Illuminating Dust. And this is the shade, is it just Glow? I think that's maybe the shade name Glow. So Cab Cosmetics is um, Kim, Ariana, and Brielle. So Kim is the housewife of Atlanta. She had her show, Don't Be Tardy for the Party, like all that. So her and her two daughters, they have a cosmetic brand. And I saw this inside Walmart. Like they have an end cap inside Walmart with like several um, online beauty influencers and, you know, people launching products, which I thought was very innovative for Walmart to have that. And you know, the drugstores are definitely coming up with some brands that are being sought after. And I just thought, I was like, oh, let me give this a try. I have this on today as my highlight down the center of my nose and the highlight on my cheek. This is just a really pretty pink and I'm not gonna do it that way. I'm gonna just swatch it and show you on my hand it right there it's just like a pinky illuminator um super pretty very high shine doesn't look patchy or powdery on the skin and i believe it was pretty inexpensive i don't recall exactly how much it was but i love it it's very gorgeous 
and I feel like it gives a nice natural glow. You could definitely build it up if you want more of that intense glow, but it is very pretty and I would highly recommend checking this out. They do have a lip oil I wanted to see and a couple other products, but let me know in the comments below if you guys have tried any of their other products and what you guys think about them. So those are all the items that I picked up from Sephora recently. A lot of the items were repeat, but some of them were new items that I have fallen in love with. And I just wanted to give you guys my opinion on them and uh, kind of just have an open conversation about beauty products and what's new in Sephora. So if you love this video, don't forget to like it, subscribe, and come back for more videos. Let me know in the comments below what other content you guys want me to do. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.